Okay, so we're going to be painting an RC body today. I got a new body for my Team Associated RC10DS. I have the wheels all trimmed out. I had the holes for the body post already made. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and then I'm going to mask off the windows. Okay, got the window masks all on. Uh, now I take a, I normally use a gray scotch bright. I don't push too hard, just lightly go over everything. Give it a little bit of a scuff for the paint to adhere to. All right. Give it a little first wipe. And then you should use some wax and grease remover, paint prep solvent. Not solvent. You've got to be careful what you use on the plastic, but I'm just starting off with like a Clorox wipe, and then I'll use like a lint-free towel with some rubbing alcohol on it, because that's what I have here today. Just trying to get any greasy fingerprints off the inside okay so we're ready for the first coat got it all wiped down cleaned off degreased um, scuffed up and masked this is a Lexan body it's soft so you got to use a polycarbonate paint I generally use the Tamiya paints it says right on it for polycarbonate Uh, then normally with the uh, part numbers that start with PS. All right, let's get the first coat on. Very light, just a quick dusting. All right, that's all you need for a first coat. We'll let it flash off a little bit. Give it like 10 minutes and we'll do another coat. All right, ready for our second coat. Moved over to the shade here. It's too bright over there. You're getting snow blind. Couldn't see anything. Still just a light coat for the second one. Probably third and fourth coat, we'll try and look to get some more coverage. All right, we'll let that flash off. Come back for a third coat. All right, going for the third coat. Gonna start worrying, trying to get a little more coverage. little windy out here today but all right good for the third coat just continue until we get good coverage okay so like five or six coats later got all my silver base coat down 
Now it's time to do a backing coat. Uh, if you got a bright color, you normally use white. It makes it pop a little more. Uh, if you want to darken it up, you use black. I'm going to go with black today. All right, let's get the first coat of the backing coat. I have a couple old cans of black I'm trying to use up. All right, do our second backing coat. Some of these cans are pretty much done. Just trying to get everything out of them before I toss them. All right, gonna do my final backing coat. Put it on a little heavy, have a nice smooth look on the inside when it's done. Let's go. All right, let's let it dry for a while, maybe uh, 45 minutes to an hour, and we'll pull some of the masking off. Got some dust in the paint, but once again, it's on the bottom, doesn't really matter. All right, the paint's dried for an hour or two. Let's remove the outer protective masking. There you go, got to start. I got a little bleeding around where these holes are. Gonna have to try and clean them up a little bit. Turned out pretty well. Wasn't going too crazy with this paint job, only did the one color. Every paint job I've tried to keep nice, I've always ended up scratching anyways. But it looks like it turned out pretty nice. Not too many flaws that I can see. Alright, let's unmask the windows. windows unmasked I'll have to clean up a little bit of overspray by the where the body posts are but really not that bad all right pretty happy how it turned out now it's time to put all the decals on the body okay so I got the body all done all the decals are on I painted the rear wing off camera, it's just black, held onto the body with two-sided tape. 
but for just basically going with the silver, I think it turned out really nice. Looks really good. Definitely based off an SN95 Mustang, but not licensed. So pretty much done with uh, my basic overview of paint and Alexa and body. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff. We can maybe do some more decaled bodies, multiple colors. But for the RC10DS, I really like how it looks. Can't wait to get it out and drive it. Thanks for watching.